Happy New Year, my loves. I am back today doing my 2014 favorites with you guys now that it is officially 2015. 2014 was an amazing year for me, YouTube-wise and personally. I hope that it was an amazing year for you guys as well. This time last year, I was at about 10,000 subscribers, and now I just recently reached 31,000 subscribers. So that is so amazing to me. Each and every one of you mean the absolute world to me. I'm hoping that by this time next year when I'm doing my 2015 favorites that I will be at 100,000 subscribers. So please help me reach my goal. If you are not subscribed already, please click that subscribe button and also if you are subscribed, please give this video a thumbs up and let everyone and anyone know about me. Tell your mom, your best friend, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your sister, your aunt. Everybody tell them about me and my channel. It would mean so, so much to me because I really, really hope that in 2015 I can grow my channel a lot, a lot, a lot. So yeah, I am going to get into it so I stop rambling because this video is probably gonna be long just because I'm gonna be showing you my most used things within 2014 and my favorite things. I actually just recently got a lot of new makeup that I have been loving, but I'm not including any of that in this video because these products are really gonna be products that have stayed with me the entire of 2014. Like I literally use them all the time. Holy grail stuff that I was using like every day within 2014. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. I tried to pick something for each category of makeup. So the first category that we're going to start with is primers. The first primer has been an absolute favorite of mine for a very, very long time, probably even before 2014, but that is the Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination Facial Cream. I absolutely love this. It gives the most beautiful glow to the skin. It's just so, so pretty. It's just literally the prettiest sheen on the skin that I've ever seen. It's an awesome primer. You can you wear it alone if you want to just have that really beachy, glowy look. I absolutely love it. It is definitely a favorite and a staple of mine. Next, my. we'll move on to concealers. The first one you guys can probably guess, and that is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This has been a forever favorite of mine. As soon as I started getting into makeup, I purchased this product, and I have loved it ever since. It's literally the only concealer that I use underneath my eyes. I just absolutely, positively love this stuff, so I had to include it in my 2014 favorite. Another concealer that I really, really loved in 2014 was my Sonia Kasha Concealer Quad. You guys can get these at Target, and I love it because it comes with three different colors of foundation, and I have it in the color light, but I use this all the time to sculpt out my eyebrows, to kind of clean up my eyeshadow, to cover blemishes, anything like that. I basically use this for everything else besides my under eye area, which is what I use the MAC Pro Longwear for, so I really, really love this, and as you can tell, I totally hit pan on all of the colors, so I gave it a lot of love this year. Now moving on to foundations. This year I am only including one foundation, and that is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. This is probably by far my most worn foundation within 2014. I love this stuff. It's from the Jug Store. It's cheap. It's full coverage. It's matte. It's amazing. It comes in a billion different shades. I literally cannot say anything else more about it besides the fact that it's so, so amazing. I will have a full review of it linked down below because I did do a full video on this thing, but this is amazing. My favorite foundation and definitely the one that I used pretty much every day in 2014. Now we're gonna move on to tools. One you guys can again probably guess and that is my beauty blender. You guys know I love my beauty blender. I love this to blend out my concealer, to apply my foundation, cream blushes, anything you name it, I will use the beauty blender because I love this little guy and I gave it a whole lot of love in 2014. It's amazing and definitely worth the money. I also wanted to give a shout out to Mojo Beauty because you guys know I love my Mojo Beauty brushes. They're like literally the only brushes that I will use. This is their F9 Flat Top Kabuki brush, which I use to blend out my foundation. You guys know I love literally all of their brushes. All of their like eyeshadow brushes, they're the only brushes I use for my eyes, my face, blush, contour, anything, you name it, I use Mojo Beauty. I love them. They are better than Sigma. They are just as good as MAC. I literally cannot say enough good things about them. They're amazing. I'll have a link down below to Mojo Beauty where you can get all of their brushes and I have coupon codes for you guys and stuff, but I love these brushes. They're amazing and I am so happy that I found them in 2014. My favorite blush for 2014 was definitely Max Warm Soul. This is the most beautiful everyday color. I just absolutely love it. It's very neutral. It can go with a whole range of eye looks. You literally can do anything on your eyes and lips and throw this on your cheeks and it will go just because it's so neutral. It's the perfect everyday color and literally the color I wore every day in 2014. So I had to include it. Now onto eyebrows, which literally became my favorite like makeup type face part of my face. Like literally 
I became obsessed with eyebrows in 2014. I literally had the worst eyebrows before this year because my eyebrows are like white if I don't do anything to them. And I used to literally not even fill them in at all. So 2014 was a good year for my brows. I did have some bad spells with some bad products, but Anastasia Beverly Hills definitely is the queen, queen, queen of brows. I think she really like came out um, and like exploded this year. I think she was like a brand before this year, but I love her products. They're amazing. You can find them at Sephora. This is her dip brow product, which I love. It's used on my brows today. She also has a brow pencil, which I just bought, which I absolutely love. Just amazing, amazing product. I did want to throw in one setting spray for you guys. You guys know that I use the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray for the majority of 2014, but I recently just did discover the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set Makeup Setting Spray from L'Oreal, which is from the drugstore, and I love this stuff just as much as my Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. So I actually never repurchased my Urban Decay one, and now I have this one. So I absolutely love this. I had to include it in here, even though it's only been a few months since I've been using it, just because I don't have the Urban Decay one anymore, because this one's just as good for literally half the price. So love, love, love this stuff. It sets your makeup and makes it last all day long. It's amazing. I do have one more product from the Queen of Brows, and this is not even a brow product, but it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I love this thing so, so much. I love all of these shades in here. It's literally amazing. It comes with three highlights, three contours. This highlight shade is literally my everything. I love this. I love this yellow shade for setting my under eye concealer and these three bronzers I use to bronze up my skin and to contour my skin. I love this little palette. I love that they all come here. I just have this whole palette to use on my face. It's like cute and little and just I love this so I had to put it in this video. It's amazing and I use this every single day to contour and highlight my face and to set my foundation and concealer etc. Now on to eyes. This was super hard just because I have so many eyeshadows and so many eyeshadow palettes and I recently just got the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes, both of them, the semi-sweet and the regular one and I love those but I didn't want to include that in my 2014 favorites just because I just got them so I didn't use them for the majority of 2014. Definitely my most used eyeshadow palette in 2014 was the Naked Basics from Urban Decay. I literally love this. There is six matte shades in here. I literally use this the majority of days on my eyes, especially when I wasn't filming and I was just like going to class or whatever. I always went for these because they were just easy and perfect. There are six neutral um, shades. There's actually five matte, one shimmery shade, and I love this. Definitely was a go-to of mine on a daily basis within 2014, so I had to include it. Now on to mascaras. There were two mascaras that I absolutely fell in love with in 2014. The first one is the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. This is an amazing mascara. It's super, super lengthening and separates your lashes really, really well. I absolutely love it and definitely was a go-to of mine within 2014. The other mascara that I fell in love with is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is an awesome volumizing mascara and these two combined together are literally the perfect lash combo. I love, love, love these two mascaras. They were definitely my favorites in 2014. Now on to lip products. This year I literally fell in love with matte lips. Before 2014 I never really wore like matte colors on my lips and this year I fell in love with them and I also fell in love with the darker nude lips like that Kylie Jenner lip. I literally can't get enough of it. So my two favorite lipsticks for 2014 are both from Gerard Cosmetics and they are their nude lipstick and their 1995 lipstick. They are both matte. The nude lipstick is a little bit lighter. The 1995 is a little bit of a darker, but I literally love these two. I can't get enough of matte lipsticks and definitely that darker nude color. I just love them and these two were definitely a go-to on a daily basis of mine in 2014. I love, love, love. Another lip product that I really, really loved in 2014 was the Tarte Lip Surgeons Lip Tint in the color Lovely. I love this stuff. It's amazing. It's a really, really nice kind of rosy everyday color that you can throw on your lips. I love all of the Tarte Lip Surgeons Lip Tints. They're just super easy to apply to your lips and go. They're not like a lipstick or anything. They're more moisturizing than that and I just really, really love them. Last but not least, I did have to throw in a hair favorite for 2014 and those are my Lily hair extensions from Bellamy. I love these. You guys know that I love them. They're literally so amazing. I wear them every single day. They are the thickest extensions that I have ever tried ever. Literally, Bellamy just 
there's nothing better. I get so many questions about hair extensions all the time because there are so many brands out there and Bella Me by far is the best brand and the Lily hair is by far my favorite. Literally so ridiculously thick. I just love them so much and would be literally lost out. I'm like sad that I had to film this video not wearing them because I wanted to show them, but I just love, love, love these. Cannot say enough good things about it. I have a coupon code for Bellamy if you guys are interested down below. They're just amazing. Highly, highly, highly recommend them if you're looking to add thickness or length to your hair. Just hands down, the absolute best, best quality there is out there in the hair extensions brand, in my opinion. So yeah, those are my favorites for 2014. I hope you guys had an amazing 2014. I hope that you will have an even better 2015. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Also leave me a comment down below any videos that you guys wanna see coming in 2015 because I'd love to film them for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and being a subscriber. It literally means the world to me. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. I truly, truly love you guys. I just. I literally, like, I feel like I'm being so sappy, but I can't say it enough. You guys are amazing. So thank you so much for all of the support. I love, love, love you guys. I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.